Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Who was painting today? I was. What's she that? Was, Why is that relevant? Because people were asking where you were in the other video. Oh yeah, I was painting. I was prepping the walls for more, for more uh, paneling things and. Yeah. I don't it, know what to call them. They're like the, wall pieces. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a beach house in our bathroom. Our kids are very excited. They call it the fancy bathroom. The now. fancy bathroom. We need to we need to get the shells, the three shells. The three shells for the I, fancy bathroom. Oh, that'd be kind of funny. But you know, I'm afraid what they just would put do them on them. the wall, just as decoration above the toilet paper. People see. Oh yeah, because we got this funky little toilet paper holder with a shelf on it that we're gonna install probably tomorrow. So yeah, yeah. It, it looks like a, it looks. It's got like pipe and stuff. But that's where she was. People were wondering where you're at. Hey, speaking of like weird things, I was gonna tell them the story about the 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 was it UPS man? Was it UPS or FedEx? I don't remember what he was. I think was. it was UPS. Okay. So the other day we talked about, they got the play button, which we have to put the video up for that. We yes. Finish the video for that. Yes. We did. Anyway, um, when the guy dropped it off, Squid King said, he, he said, oh, he made this weird face when he put it down. Like, whoa, what's up with that? And, you know, sometimes Squid King can exaggerate because Squid King's very, um, excitable. Oh, he's very, not excitable, very, uh, he, he could be an actor. He's very expressive. Anyway, um, I thought, okay, well, maybe, you know, maybe he just thought that, but, he, you know, he's just saying it to make me feel better. So there was a knock at the door because they were dropping off a tablet, which uh, Neon is going to review. Yes. And I had to answer the door and you can't sign for it because we're not allowed, you know, you're not allowed to touch the pads right now. Right. So I, um, he just had to get my, give it to me and then get my last name and everything. And then he says, he said, yeah, so... I drop off stuff here all the time, and I noticed you had something from YouTube the other day. Did you get an award? And I said, yeah, I got a silver play button. He's like, oh, that's so cool. That's that's cool. He's like, I've noticed I drop a lot of stuff off here. That's pretty cool stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we do comics and stuff. So he was not making it up. He wasn't making it up. Yeah. So he asked me as soon as he saw me. So the UPS guy knows knows he was what rather, we do. He was rather excited. So if he ever finds us, he finds out who we are. He didn't ask. I didn't tell him. We well, all um, kinds of weird hello stuff. Hello to the, to the, to the delivery man. Yeah, thank you, and and so sorry because we get some really big boxes sometimes, and they have to lug them. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. lug them onto the porch, and they're probably like, "What the frick?" Anyway, is this? now that we wasted ten minutes. People are probably po because like, why didn't you get to the point? Yeah, um, because we never do. No, that's, we don't. That's what makes us fun. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, we are gonna talk about Daryl Hannah's butt. Yeah, because I mean, why why would we want to talk about anything else than Daryl Hannah's butt? It looks like they need to shave Daryl Hannah's butt, but that's another story. We're going to talk about <laughs> Daryl Hannah's uh, uh, hairy, hairy, hairy butt. behind. <laughs> so, okay, this has been a topic of discussion for the last 24 hours. We had multiple people on Twitter say, hey, why aren't you guys talking about it? Because uh, we didn't get around to it yet, but we're going to talk about it now. They have edited Splash. Splash, a PG-rated film. I watched it when I was a kid. From 1984. I didn't know it was that old. I thought it was later than that. Yeah, yeah it was I 84. guess it is a Betty Four. Uh, PG film, Disney film, or Touchstone, or whatever it was. Anyway, yeah, it was Touchstone back then. It's it's on Disney Plus, and there is like half of Daryl Hannah's ass cheek showing. Well, they don't want you to touch your stones, so that's why they changed. <laughs> so, what? Because it's touch. Never mind. Oh, touch stones, right? So anyway, they um, it's very weird. They edited this scene where she goes back into the ocean, right? They get the smooch, whatever, and and they put they put what could best be described as a fur skirt, a fur on. patch. And the thing is, is her hair actually covered up most of her butt cheek anyway originally her hair was actually very long this movie was rated pg in 1980 freaking four we, but to be fair they said that, you know at the time it was rated pg but it, it the rating system changed and it would have been pg-13 blame gremlins and blame indiana jones on but that. no pun intended but her butt when we were kids we watched <laughs> the scene and no one thought anything of it you know, I mean, people probably pause it so they get more of a, you know, view, but it was... Everybody she's back... She's wearing a thong or something. Everybody saw Daryl Hannah's butt. She was in a lot of movies where they showed her butt. That was her thing. Um, that's was probably, it? Yes. I don't... I didn't really watch for her butt, so I don't remember. Well, you wouldn't have. I would... I didn't even remember the scene being in it, honestly, because, you know, I didn't really think about it too much, but then I was a little girl, probably not a little boy. I didn't, I don't even, re I just remember they swim off together and then they had a made for TV sequel to it, which was they did? absolutely terrible. I don't remember any so of this. they make this big deal. Well, this is back when Disney was doing all of these uh, made for TV movies on the wonderful world of Disney or whatever. And 
So they make a big deal at the end that if Tom Hanks goes to live under the sea, yeah. he can never come back. So he's got to say goodbye to his, his friends, his brother, or whatever. Well, don't they turn around and undo it a couple of years later with a god-awful made-for-TV movie so sequel. So Disney undid things. Yes. And changed canon. Yes. Oh, are we surprised? It was called Splash 2, T-O-O, kind of like, uh, it was basically the Grease 2 of the Splash universe. Oh, God. It I was... didn't even see it, and I'm, there, I'm probably very glad they didn't. So besides Daryl Hannah's ass, I think this movie is most notable for a couple of things. Um, one, the name Madison being a girl's I name. I was thinking about that earlier when we started the video. Madison became very popular after this film. Yeah, because there's a big scene where Madison's not an actual name tom hanks points that's because she saw madison avenue on the sign mm -hmm. right um it's also notable because this is uh, i believe castaway key is it castaway key yeah how do you know I, I, i'm learning all this stuff right with you guys because i have been working all day and have not i read attention. a factoid somewhere i'm i would have to look into it i don't feel like looking it up right now and i'm sure people are going to correct me in the the comments but i am pretty sure this is the island that would become disney's cruise line island is where they filmed the the scenes, or at least the rescue scene in the beginning where he, he was a little yeah. kid and gets rescued. Um, then like a couple of years later, they did a little mermaid, right? And yeah, well, they didn't show her butt either, but they almost showed her boobs because um, the censors were demanding that they put uh, the straps in the seashells because originally she didn't have the straps in the seashells. Yeah. And I do know this one, that the animators were, were like, this is ridiculous. So there apparently was a picture of the little mermaid with her seashells popping off. Um, somewhere on a wall somewhere. Speaking of popping off, the priest. Yes, that the happened. Yes, scene. It, it was there. It was it. supposed to be, I guess they said it was his kneecap. Oh no, it didn't look like a kneecap. But a lot of people said the priest looked like he was he was really enjoying that wedding ceremony. Yes. They don't have that at all now. They took all that out on the, on the DVDs. They took stuff. they took off the uh the castle too, because it said the castle looked like a giant tally wanker. It looked like a penis. Yeah. On the one cover, and it did. It did. And supposedly the artist said, yeah, it was intentional. He was mad at Disney. Yeah, and, I saw yeah. it. I saw the original cover. It, it was, was a, VHS, a wasn't penis. It? Yes. Yeah, VHS tape. There was a penis. Remember VHS tapes? That's how old we are. We remember yeah, VHS tapes. I remember tapes. when this movie was out. That's how old we are. So we remember when this movie was out and it showed a lot more of Daryl Hannah's ass. I don't remember it being her butt, but you know. Uh, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't show that much. It shows like part of a cheek. Yeah, but she that's probably offensive. was wearing underwear, like a thong or something. You just didn't see it. I mean, but now it, it's so much better because it looks like she's wearing a grass skirt or like some kind of, you know, she has some kind of hair issue on her hips that, you know, it, it looks really bad. It looks weird. It looks like she's turning into a furry or something. It if does they, not look good. If they were going to do it, they should have at least made the effort to make it look like it belonged. Yeah, they just like, yeah, it's weird. Um, So this is a problem, right? Uh, it's a problem because, you know, a lot of the stuff, especially Disney Plus, they're going in and censoring. And I actually have to give props to The Verge. I'm actually going to give them props because this article was actually pretty good. And they talk about how uh, problematic it is that Disney is sort of rewriting its own history, mm -hmm. uh, current year, and what the problem is with, with all digital media, where even if you go buy a movie on Vudu or something, um, who's to say that they might not decide to change it in two or three years, and then when you go to watch it, even though you bought that movie, the version you now own, well, rent or lease or whatever, is now the, the current version. It'd be like buying the original Star Wars trilogy on VHS and popping it in one day and finding the special edition yeah. has overwritten it. Yeah, you know? they could do that. I mean, we saw they do it with the patches for the movie theaters now, too. Yep. They could just upload a new patch and, you know, there you go. So they were pointing out some other things. Um, well, it's a one, if, if it's a problem, why don't they just put Splash on Hulu? You know, again, this movie is rated PG in 1984. We watched it as kids, no problem. Um, they said there's a double standard. They said Thor Ragnarok has Hulk's naked butt. In yeah, it. that's yeah, that's a good point. Because what? Because it was animated. It was it was CG. Because he was a guy. Or you think that's what? Yeah, you know, probably. And they said, well, it's CG. It's CG. But you know, they made some changes to uh, A New Hope. George Lucas asked for McClunky to be yes, added. Yes, I didn't know about that. It was a big deal. But they they removed the f bomb from the Adventures in Babysitting which was, I, th I think that was PG-13, and you can get away in PG-13, you can get away with one F-bomb. Okay, but I can kind of understand why they did that, you know, but, because that's not as big a deal, but still. 
Yeah, so it's just so weird that Splash of all movies. I'm just wondering, when they removed it, I haven't watched Adventures in Babysitting for years. It's like a, a love-hate thing. It's like, I watched it several times as a kid, but I really have no desire to watch it again. Like, it was okay, but it wasn't like a movie I'd have to see It wasn't again. a classic. It was, yeah. But is it like when we used to watch the movies when we were kids, when they had to have the R-rated movies edited for TV, and it'd be like, you know, the mouths wouldn't match up. Or they'd be like, what the f And it'd be like, what fudge. the- Fudge. Yeah, it'd be like, yeah, okay. It'd be like, what the- Fudge. Yeah, like that, <laughs> you know? Or stick it up your- But. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Did they do that? Or they just cut it so, off completely? I, I don't know. <laughs> to me, if they're going to change the words, they needed to change it that way. Because if they didn't change it that way, it doesn't, it doesn't scream 80s. Yeah, um, and, you know, look, we got used to watching, you know, they'd have the Saturday matinee or they would have, like, the ABC movie of the week, and mm -hmm. we got used to watching severely edited versions of yes. theatrical films, you know. Yes, all the time. Pan and scan with all the swear words cut out, some entire scenes cut out, and it was so weird because I remember watching some movies on TV, like, you know, back in the day, we didn't have access to movies like people do now, especially, you know, if you waited for VHS. Uh, because it would take a year or two for them to come to VHS. So you'd see the movie in the theater once, you'd forget what it was actually like. Then you'd catch it on TV like five years later and you'd be like, but I remember that yeah. being different in the theater. And it would drive you nuts because you're like, damn it, I'm not that old. I know what I saw in the theater, damn it. This happened to me with Transformers the movie. Oh yeah, you told about this. Drove me nuts for years because I went to the theater when I was a little kid to go see Transformers the movie. My grandparents took me, they fell asleep during Transformers the movie. We're they gonna, would fall asleep, that sounds like them. Yeah, they're like, we don't know, there's robots and explosions and whatever, we're taking it's a nap. nap time, it's air conditioned. Yeah, that's what they did, they took a nap. But they Little took, Neon's entertained. Oh, I was, good. I was glued, and I memorized that damn movie. Came out on VHS a couple years later, and we rented it. They didn't swear, because uh, Spike Witwicky, yeah says, oh shit, we didn't even dent it. And I remember there was one other family in the theater and it must've been a grandma with her grandkid. And she just gasped and actually grabbed the kid by the arm and pulled him out of the theater when, when he swore. Cause like how dare, like robots are dying. They're showing robots get murdered on screen. They're blowing up, they're getting ripped but apart. But that's not the bad part. He said the SH word. He said the <gasps> SH word. So it comes out on tape. And I remember telling my kids like, I went to go see the Transformers movie and oh my God, Spike swore. No, oh, uh, yes he did, he swore. No, you're lying. It comes out on tape, he didn't swear on the tape. I'm like, what the hell <laughs> is going on? I know I'm not going crazy. And it wasn't until years later when it came out on DVD, I'm like, there it is, there it fucking is. He's swearing. He's swearing in the movie. You are now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, I he's knew so, I wasn't so, crazy. He's so invested in this. You should see all the, he's flailing his arms around. <laughs> he's just into it. Because I, I thought I was crazy for years. I freaking Transformers, edited Transformers just gaslighting me. I thought I was insane for years, for like, like almost 10 years. I'm like, I knew Spike swore in the movie. What the hell is going on? And when it came out on DVD, finally, he swore, and I'm like, vindication, bitches, well, go watch a DVD. He well, swore. they're gonna, you can talk to any of those people now, but it's funny to me because he can literally remember like the the wish books and like little the little pamphlets that came with things and little comics and all this stuff from when he was a kid. Like he, he has like a walking encyclopedia on 80s toys, but he can't remember things that he didn't listen to me say yesterday. And it, it, it's frustrating. It's not because I don't love you. It's because I'm getting old. I joked. No, you've been doing this since we got married. I used to joke when we first got married that I was going to get underwear with a Decepticon or Autobot logos on it. Because then at least, you know, he'd pay attention to what I said. You're asking for some <laughs> comments. So we're going to... Um, so there we go. So that's Geeky. Instead of getting extra long hair, she's going to get uh, uh, Decepticon. Logo. No, not now. I cared then. No kidding. <laughs> Joking. No, I'm just gonna get a grass skirt looks like hair. Tell people I tell people it's been cool. No, you know what? For some women, you know what? Quarantine's happening. You know, it just it might look like that by the time quarantine's over. Yeah, so Daryl Hannah has a hairy ass. Maybe mermaids have hairy asses. I don't know. Have you ever seen a real mermaid? No, and I'm just saying, we don't know what they have under those fins. Who knows what sprouts? Uh, you know, they could, they, that could be Disney's argument. Maybe on land, when the sun shines, she turns into a squirrel, and that's her bushy tail 
Uh, no, that doesn't growing, even, no. It doesn't even make no. sense. <laughs> no, um, I'm just saying, maybe they could a, argue that, you know, we don't know what's under mermaid fins and that it just translates into fur. Anyway, <laughs> there are a lot of jokes that could be made. We're not going to make those jokes. Oh, um, it's okay. I'll make the jokes. <laughs> this is a very common thing on Disney+. Plus. Simpsons fans were angry uh, for a couple reasons. Did they when give them the, hairy butts? No, they didn't give him hairy butts. Um, when the Simpsons, they gave him four fingers. No, when the Simpsons dropped on Disney Plus, it was a big selling point. Like, hey, everybody, yeah. we've got every episode of the Simpsons digitally remastered. Yep. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be like having the damn Blu-ray. Uh, no, that's not what happened. They actually cut a couple episodes out yep. that were problematic, and they were not presented in their original aspect ratio. Well, they're supposed to be fixing the aspect ratio in, by July, but, well, I don't know. That was before the, the whole shutdown, but they were yeah. supposed to be fixing that. I don't know if they're putting the episodes back, though. Most likely not if they were considered problematic, in quotes problematic um so this is what they're concerned about and again i actually am going to get props to the verge for this article and they talk about the concerns and, and you know we have people discuss it in the comment sections uh, all the time when we talk about streaming is you know you basically get whatever the current version of the movie is and if everybody transitions to digital then history can constantly be rewritten right and disney is notorious for wanting to pretend it didn't make certain movies so they're even saying retroactively editing films to uh, suit a certain narrative or niche is an ongoing problem that's caused concern in movie, television, and music circles. And as people turn to streaming services where files can be edited, concerns over the original presentation continue to grow. Uh, what may just be bad CGI hair over a butt in an old Tom Hanks movie could be more elaborate edits and alterations tomorrow. I'm just like, a couple things here. I'm just surprised that many people went to watch Splash. And yeah. two, I'm surprised that, you know, people caught that and had such a hissy about it. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I get it. I totally get it. I mean, it it's really bad. It yeah. looks really bad. It, yeah. She looks like she's wearing a hair skirt or it could be, you know, she has a tail underneath the hair. I mean, it, it, it's bad. But I'm just like, this ended up being this huge thing over, you know, her hairy butt. It's just, it's just funny. Yeah, and it wasn't even, it wasn't even that big of a deal. You know, it really, it wasn't that big of a deal, but again, you know, Disney, they are censor happy. People were concerned when they opened the vault that they were going to censor the hell out of all their classic movies. We're never getting Song of the South. Well, and that's the thing. Here's the truth about Song of the South and feel free to disagree, right? That's fine. I've seen the movie multiple times. I do not think it's nearly as bad as people make it out to be. And the reason that it's so taboo is it's almost like the fear of the thing is worse than, than the, the thing. thing itself. Compared to some of the cartoons that Warner Brothers was producing at the same time, it is a very, very tame movie. And they have no problem making money off of Song of the South when it comes to the theme parks. Right, yeah, Splash Mountain. Yeah, Splash Mountain. after Song of the South. Um, Whoopi Goldberg was calling for Song of the South to, to be removed you know, from the vault. You know, you can release Song of the South and say, hey, we made this movie in the 40s. It is what it is, you know, instead of hiding it. But because they're hiding it, it's actually worse on some level because one, you're not fessing up to having made it. Mm -hmm. And two, people make all these assumptions about it being a much worse thing than it actually is. They must be like, oh my God, this must be the worst movie ever made. Oh yeah, they see it, they're gonna be like, wait, why are they so That's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're gonna look at it and they're gonna be like, literally, that that is it. I mean, I don't remember it as much. I do remember watching it when I was a kid. They had a, a school movie night and all the kids, you know, could go and, and pay like their dollar and go see it at the high school and get popcorn and stuff. When the elementary kid, we were little elementary school and I remember we got to go and we saw it. And I remember parts of it, I don't remember it, like, you know, to be able to sit there and, and say yes, for sure. It was, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But I can't think my parents would have let me go see it if they thought there was something wrong with it. Because I know they would have been like, nope, you're not watching this. Yeah, I mean, it's actually, if, if anything, uh, the live action segments of the movie are boring as hell. Like, it's worth it for the cartoon. And when we were kids, they re-released the uh, sing-alongs mm -hmm. on VHS, but they never, in the, st in the States, they never released Song of the South in the States. But again, it's one of those things where people are going to make all these assumptions about the movie because you're hiding it. You know, it actually is kind of worse. It's kind of like a kid doing something that's really not that bad, but they try to hide it and they make it worse than yeah. it actually was. And that's kind of what's going on here. But Disney doesn't like to own up to its past. And we're talking about a movie, again, PG, 1984. Not a big deal. 
just weird thing as we're doing research for this video i'm like i was trying to like how old is daryl hannah now i have no idea like how old was she when she was in the movie i'm like okay well she's 59 she's not as old as i thought she was mm -hmm. and she's married to neil young <laughs> i'm like well, how when the hell did this happen 2018 okay because neil young is like god he's got to be freaking 74 i was gonna say i knew neil young was up there she's married to neil young who knew what you do now now i know daryl hannah's married to neil young go figure uh and her butt is problematic current year so uh yeah people are concerned i think they have a right to be concerned they, they did this with gravity falls too they and disney you know when there's backlash sometimes they, they will backpedal mm -hmm. they did this with gravity falls where they edited grunkle stan's fez and then they went and they put the original version back well somebody said that was actually just uh, a different like a different version Disney but always has an excuse. They always do an excuse. Well, no, it was. It was actually the international version because they said the Fez looked too much like, I think, the flag of Turkey or something, and they didn't want to offend people. So they, they had a, uh, a one with a symbol. A symbol-free version. Yeah, but they went back and they put the uh, the American version on because, um, you know, even Alex Hirsch was out there like, what the hell, Disney? Well, if you haven't watched Gravity Falls, go watch that because that show's great. That show is great. Uh, and and uh, Alex Hirsch uh, got gone. Uh, he got to end it on his own terms uh, before Disney had a chance to milk it. Yeah, like, I'm surprised. I'm surprised <laughs> that he was able to pull that off, honestly. Yeah, so good on him for that. But anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see what else Disney censors in the coming years and other streamers too because right. uh, things change. And if you want the version of the movie you want, then buy it on physical media that's true yeah because they can they can just change it on you and you never know also uh quarantine might last well ladies so make sure you you keep up the shaving so you don't look like daryl hannah yeah we don't want to look like splash no. even though if you've got if you've got a hair like that you've got some issues yeah right, then you might want to see a doctor all right talk to you guys later <laughs> bye hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time